I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, this is Ben from Field of Music, and um, this is another in my episode of going through my album collections by album titles. And today, this is we're in the F's, and this is part two of the F's. And this one is loaded with some of my favorite albums, which is same. Um, first off, right out of the bat, yeah, I know rough, rough looking copies, but hey, originals, all that good stuff. So, anyway, Fireball, Deep Purple, um, Strange Kind of Woman, uh, came off of here, um, The Mule and uh fireball there's the inside of it and too fancy just pictures of the band of course of course this is the classic lineup richie blackmore ian gillen roger glover john lord and ian pace so i know they call it phase one phase two which you know whatever this was a blind buy when i first got this um saw the album cover I said, huh, that looks kind of neat, so I'll give it a try. April Wine, first glance. Didn't take long um, for me to, uh, <laughs> to fall in love with this band. A lot of good stuff. Um, there's, not a, there's not a bad song on this album. Um, but, yeah. And this is a reissue, actually, um, of, a, of, I think it was their debut album, which... I may have some place, but it's not called First Glance. So, yeah, you know. Anyway, this was a surprise to me. Back when I was going through my issues a while back, and you can check videos for that, um, I was started going through all my albums, and I ran across this one, and I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. Um, of course, I knew um, Lonesome Loser and Cool Change, but the rest of this album too is is fantastic, very bluesy and just good good rock and roll stuff from Little River Band, first under the wire. Um, anyway, there's pictures of the inner lyrics on this side. This is Jeff Beck's Flash. Um, most of the uh, album, most of the songs on here are sung by either uh, Jimmy Hall or uh, Jeff Beck himself. And then there, there's a couple, you know, instrumentals. But I actually, I got this album for basically for one reason. Oops. And that is um, People Get Ready by and sung by Rod Stewart. Just a great version of that song so yeah Jeff Beck flash speaking of flash how about a little bit of flashback from 38 special this is basically a uh, greatest hits album and uh, you know, good stuff hold on loosely if I'd been the one caught up in you fantasy girl uh, yeah do I don't Back Where You Belong, Teacher, Teacher, and Like No Other Night, and then, of course, Rockin' Into the Night, which was my introduction to 38 Special. And then, of course, it has somebody going really fast. And then uh, uh, songs on the back there. But it also came with a kind of a neat little EP. It has uh, four songs on it. Stone Cold Believer, 20th Century Fox, Roughhousing, and uh, um, Wild Eyed Southern Boys, all live, recorded live. So that was kind of a bonus to uh, when you bought that album. Another one of my favorite albums, Head East, Flat as a Pancake, um, has one of my. Um, all-time favorite heady songs close to the top of them all-time favorite song of all time um, and that's never been any reason 
Um, but yeah, just good, um, classic rock and roll from, um, hard rock and roll out of the, out of the Midwest, you know, along the lines of REO Speedwagon and, and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. Flat as a pancake. Mm, making me hungry. This is a flight log by Jefferson Airplane. Um, once again, kind of a, a greatest hits um, type of thing. Not much on the inside, just some hmm, pictures of some aircraft. Huh, imagine that. But it does come with a nifty little book um, that kind of highlights, highlights their career and everything. So, uh, yeah, pretty neat thing there. Um, so, uh, Jefferson Airplane Flight Log. So this next one, I was uh, very skeptical about buying when I saw it. And it's because of my, uh, my love for Grand Funk Railroad. And, uh, but I decided, you know, yeah, what the heck. Um, and it's Flint, named after Flint, Michigan. And uh, it has the two guys from, um, I see three guys, who uh, were in Grand Funk after Mark, you know, after they had their big falling out or whatever. So you had Mel Shacker and um, Donnie Brewer and Craig Frost, who played keyboards later on in Grand Funk. But they got together after the split and created um, Flint. And as you can tell, this is a promo album. Um, there's the little gold stamp up there on the top. Um, it's not bad. Um, it, it sounds like Grand Funk, if you ask me. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this is Flint by Flint. Now for some Southern rock and roll with uh, Flirting with Disaster by Molly Hatchet. Molly Hatchet's second album. And of course, they always have such great album covers. There's the, the band on the back. Of course, this had the, the hit... Uh, um, flirting with disaster, of course, and uh, this whole album is just is just awesome from top to bottom. Um, Whiskey Man, they did a cover. It's all over. They did a cover of it's all over now. But yeah, um, just good stuff by Hatchet. Nothing fancy on the inner, just uh, um, the lyrics. So next we got Flowers of Evil by Mountain. Um, of course, Mountain is uh, Leslie West, Felix Papillardi, Corky Lang, and Steve Knight. Most notably um, noted for uh, Mississippi Queen. Um, but uh, this was a, a later release. Um, just good 70s psych rock um, from Mountain. Flush the Fashion. By the master of shock rock, Alice Cooper. Um, yeah, he looks like he's kind of out of it. This may have been some of those, one of those albums that he's noted, he's been noted to um, state that uh, he uh, um, don't even remember recording some of these. Um, but uh, um, clones is on here pain which came off of the roadie soundtrack um and then dance yourself to death um which is a pretty clever song i guess is the best way to put it but uh yeah and there's there's a picture of him on the inner and then the lyrics on that side so scorpions fly to the rainbow so, of course, this is the uh, early rendition of the Scorpions with Rudolf Schecker, Uli John Roth, uh, Klaus Mein, Jürgen Rosenthal on drums, and Francis Buckles on bass. So, yeah, 
they are just starting to form their sound now of what the scorpion sounded like because if you listen to lonesome crow their first album it doesn't sound anything like like scorpions and they still don't have the same sound you know like they do with their later on later stuff but still good stuff so fly to the rainbow by scorpions blackfoot flying high um i don't know for sure but i think this is their debut album um of course you know blackfoot indian shorty bedlock who's um was in skinner for a little bit and then left and they formed blackfoot and then he went back to skinner again but uh um yeah i've always liked you know their style of southern rock and roll so flying high again blackfoot now for a debut album this is the debut album by fog hat um Lonesome Dave on vocals, Rod Price on guitar, Tony Stevens on bass in the harmony vocals, and Roger Earl on drums. Um, but yeah, this is Foghat's debut album. Um, I Just Want to Make Love to You came off of here. I think that was really the only a hit, or if you want to call it, you know, radio airplay stuff. Um, but yeah, Foghat's debut album. And last is some, some folk music, maybe some, you know, early, early rock and roll. This is Jan and Dean called Folk and Roll. I'm not sure that if this isn't, if this was a soundtrack to a movie, maybe. It's just different things that they, uh, they say on stuff on here. And they have different, like, screenshots and it said in here that it was uh for screen gems so i don't know don't really know much about this record to be honest never listened to this record so anyway folk and roll by jan and dean so that wraps up part two of the f's uh we will be back with uh part three next time and so just remember Music is not to hear, but music is to feel. This has been. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. I hope we meet again.